Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to remove a stuck disc from a DVD player. So let's just imagine that you have a DVD player and you have a disc inside of the DVD player and the tray won't open. I'm going to show you how to take the DVD player apart and remove the disc. So let's get right to it. If you take a look right here, uh, first and foremost, make sure that the electrical plug um, has been unplugged. Make sure that the, it is not connected to an electrical outlet. That is a definite must. Now I'm gonna take a look at the back of the DVD player. I can see that there are one, two, three screws that look like they are holding the top onto the bottom. Now, you know, this won't be identical with every DVD player, but you should look for some screws that are holding um, the two of the pieces together, the top and the bottom. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my screwdriver and unscrew these, just like this. One. Here is the second one. And the third one right over here. Just move this down. Sorry about that. Okay, now that I have removed the, the three screws, let's see if I can actually take the top off. Let's see. All right, it looks like I can. Let's just pry it off. Okay, it looks like it has to be... Uh, Looks like I have to actually just pry it to the side as I pull it up, just like that. Okay, now as you can see, I have exposed the internals of the DVD player, and there is the disc that I need to access. Now, you can go ahead and take a look, see if you can pull the disc out nice and easily, if you can remove it. Just try to see if you can just slide it out, or if it's really, really held into place. So it's kind of stuck in place, but I can actually gain access to it if I sort of pull pull up on this right here to relieve some of the pressure on the disc. If I just pull up on this and I can just slide it out just like that. Nice and easily, I'm gonna pull it out just like that. There is, uh, there, as you can see, I have removed the DVD disc that was stuck inside of the DVD player with the tray that doesn't open. Now all that I'm going to do is place the disc to the side. I'm going to put the cover back on, just like this. Let's just go ahead and slide it back into place nicely, and we will reinstall those screws. You know what, I actually just realized that I was putting it on backwards. So let's go ahead and do it the right way, and put the cover back in place. Just gonna put it around there, slide it forward, just like that. And all that I have to do is reinstall these three screws. So I will go ahead and reinstall the first one right here. Now I apologize for the amount of time that it is taking me to tighten the screws into place. I am a righty and I am, I am trying to operate the screwdriver with my left hand. So it's just a little bit of a slow process, I do apologize. Let's just tighten this one into place. All right, now the middle one right over here. We will tighten it into place. Just like that, try and speed up the process. All right, and then the final screw. I will just tighten it into place. Let's straighten it out. There we go. All right, and that's basically it. As you can see, I have shown you how to remove a disc that has been stuck inside of a DVD player with a tray that does not open. It's a fairly simple process and I have outlined the process on this specific DVD player. 
Now, the, you know, if your DVD player doesn't have these three screws in the exact same spots, then you're going to have to use some of your own logic and your, old, your, and your own, some of your own critical thinking skills to figure out how you are going to remove the top of the DVD player. But just take a look and look for a few screws that are holding the top of the DVD player to the bottom of the DVD player. Remove those screws, remove the top, and you should be able to gain access to the disc. Now, if you cannot remove the disc as easily as I did, just by sliding it out, then you might have to take a look at any screws or any clips um, that are on the DVD tray, on the tray inside of the DVD player, and remove those screws or clips um, in order to actually remove the DVD disc. And that's basically it. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.